you know, Scotty Scheffler is one of the best players on the planet, maybe number one right now. But nobody ever really thought a few years ago that he was going to make it this big because his foot action was just too wild and loose and crazy. They said, they said he'll have to tighten that up if he's ever really going to make a mark. But he's proven them all wrong. He's got a very unique foot action. And is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? Well, let's take a look at all that right after this. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I'm on a journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than I ever have before. And that means sometimes analyzing, figuring out how the best players in the world do things and seeing which of those I can put into my game to make me improve. I hope to bring you along. So there's no question about it. Scotty Scheffler moves his feet probably more than any top player that I can remember. And it always looks in slow motion like he's really loose with his feet like there's no way he could ever repeat a top performance but he is over and over and over again he's pretty dominating in the last couple years and it looks like he's going to stay in the top five in the rankings for a while so let's break it down and let's just look at what his left foot does and here's one thing i really like i really like now this is the good i really like that his left foot kind of flares out as he goes through Kind of similar to mine, a lot of people always comment on, Steve, why are you always flaring your foot out when you're, you know, you're coming down into the ball? You notice how open his foot gets as he goes through impact and into the follow through. Uh, it's flared open, you know, at least 45 degrees. So I think that's good. I think adopting that into your swing, especially as you get older, will really allow you to continue making a complete turn through the ball uh, without placing your joints at risk, both your lower back, your knee, your ankle. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, you can either let it swivel as you go through it, something like this. That's kind of what Bryson DeChambeau does. He sets it up like this and then he kind of spins around his heel and ends up like that. Uh, or you could just preset it flare it out 20 or 30 degrees and then you're kind of you're kind of already there and there's less looseness or extra motion you could say now in the left foot what i don't like about scotty scheffler's foot action is how he rolls over so much onto the outside of his foot just doing this uh, without any force at all just makes me cringe makes me feel like i'm going to injure myself as we get older we just don't stretch quite as far and our joints in general don't quite have the same range of motion as when we were his age. So this action here I would not copy, although I like where the weight is. The weight is where we want it to be, which is specifically on the outside of the foot and more towards the heel than towards the instep or the toe. But when you take it this far and you can twist the ankle this much to the outside, I think what you're doing is you're actually elongating or stretching the ligaments on the outside of the ankle and I think eventually that leads to less ankle stability both in golf and just in regular life so it's a great way I think to over a long term create an injury that can never be healed you see muscles can stretch muscles can contract they can go long or short uh, same with tendons but ligaments when they are stretched they never return those are kind of what keeps the integrity of a joint so i don't recommend ever doing anything that extreme like that i think uh, over a long period of time it will do damage and i don't think it provides you the the most stable base to hit against either all right let's move along to scotty scheffler's right foot it is also <laughs> quite a bit of artistry the only top golfer i can recall in my lifetime using something even similar to this would be a kind of a greg norman uh, action where there's a little bit of a slide so it's sliding the foot but the foot is kind of going what you might say uh, in a clockwise fashion around the other foot almost behind almost like you're bowling or something like that so it's kind of going behind so he rolls it up it actually for a second if you look at it in slow-mo it actually gets airborne for just a bit 
but it actually slides a little bit behind uh, the other foot as he spins around. Now, there's good and there's bad and there's ugly to this too, in my opinion. What I really like about this is the action of sliding the foot. I'm very much for a slide of the foot, almost relocating it. So you're sliding that inside of that big toe. But what I like to do instead, I like to tiptoe this foot in a counterclockwise action around this heel in this way so the leg would end up in front this way. Let's look at that from the down the line angle like this. See where that ends up. It ends up doing a little a little arc or semicircle but out and around in front. What I what I like about this move is it really encourages a really good strong shift of weight. This is kind of reacting. It's kind of becoming weightless. You can see how much Scotty Scheffler really drives his hip laterally a long way. And it almost serves to allow this foot to drag almost limp or weightless because he's got all of his weight on the left foot more than probably anybody else on tour. He's able to free this up and it's almost reacting by just dragging along. But what I think if you can get this leg coming around this way, coming around with your right hip, I think it really serves to reduce the amount of torque acting on these two critical joints back here, the L4, L5, and the L5, S1 uh, connections there, which are generally the most injured uh, in golfers. I think with Scotty Scheffler's action, where he's turning and the foot is sliding behind him more, that's kind of counter. It doesn't, this motion here, while trying to also make the hip go around in the opposite direction. So you've got the thigh and the foot are going around clockwise while the hip is trying to work counterclockwise, the opposite sides of the circle. I think that's going to tend to put a lot more torquing forces uh, on those two junctions. And it's going to tend to be harder, I think, to stay pain and injury free as he gets older. Now, would I coach anyone? To do the Scotty Scheffler foot action? No, I wouldn't because I think there's a couple of things that in there that are negative, a little potentially too injurious and not as effective. However, if somebody came to me with the Scotty Scheffler foot action or something similar to that, the two things I would do would just be to have them more stand on the bottom of the foot, of the left foot, and let their other foot drag to match their hip action around like this. So I would just coach them to modify it a bit, but I would not discourage them to lose all of those other qualities that he has in his swing. Well, it's gonna be really interesting to see how he performs with this crazy, crazy foot action at the majors this year. I'll definitely be watching for him. Hey, thanks so much for watching again. I'm Steve, hope you got some benefit out of this video. And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll See you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.